Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet here in the St. Patrick's Day event. Uh, this is the expulsion of Snakehead's mission. Uh, to, we got to catch 150 snakeheads. And you do, uh, before, before you even get into the video real quick, I want to tell you, you have to do the Golden Horseshoe and get the stringer, the Golden Horseshoe Stringer. I do have a guide for that down in the playlist if you haven't done that first. Um, and then you have to keep the uh, the 150 snakeheads on that stringer, so you do have to have that stringer equipped. Honestly, it's not that bad of a stringer, but I do have some interesting things for you guys on this. Um, I'm really glad I did this this year. Uh, from what I'm hearing from last year, this is much different. These aren't hard to catch. Um, for example, we are at Weeping Willows. I've done all the places, by the way, not just one. You'll see some uh, clips of me in other areas, too. Um, but I'll show you a few spots that honestly aren't too bad. The biggest thing with these guys is the baits. You can use, uh, give me one second, you can use the... Uh, baby catfish, baby buffalo, or clown frogs, and that uh, out of the ones that I used, the uh, baby catfish and baby buffalo were the best. The clown frogs uh, were not as good, and also, too, one thing about it is if you look, the clown frogs are actually more. Uh, so, um, that being said... Uh, anyway, I just I'm over here in the Weeping Willows, uh, the Willow Lake corner here, where you know there's a lot of pike. Um, actually, an interesting thing about catching them here, guys, too, on a forot, is not only do you catch them quick, but you can actually catch uni wells off peak. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually had uh, a few uni wells. I don't know if we can see them here. Um, I think we get scrolled up too far now, but. I had, uh, I had three of them, 46 and a couple 60s, but, uh, so this is what my bag looks like. One issue with these guys is no matter where you go, and like I said, I went to every one that you can catch them at, they're on the missions page, you can see all the lakes you can get them at, and the tips I have for you is the baby buffalo and catfish work better than the clown. Or the clown frog. I did try the clown frog and just didn't have as much luck with it, which seems odd for the price of that thing. Um, and also, uh, go off peak. You're less likely to catch a bunch of other fish. Although apparently these, uh, they you know wells will hit any time of day. And that's the one thing I was gonna say is no matter where you're at. I went, like, a good spot, too, is in mud water, and I caught trophy catfish in places I never caught them before, so I think there's going to be, you're going to catch other fish no matter what, no matter how you thin them out. This is, you know, pretty decent. Uh, you know, I did get, what, six other ones, but in this bag, uh, and then I'll take you over. This is if you're high level, I would come here because that you're going to save most of your bait and not get it eaten. Um, but I'm going to go take you over here really quick to Mudwater if you're lower level and show you how to catch them over at Mudwater. Okay, we are here at the top spawn here at Mudwater because if you're low level, this is pretty much where you're going to want to be. And I'm, if I, honestly, if I did it again, I'd probably do it Mudwater or Weeping Willows because Weeping Willows, you save your bait, but it is really expensive to be there. Um, mud water is cheap to advance because you're going to be here a few days because you fill up your bag relatively quick. I think it was, uh, I think if you went to fill it, I think you'd be have around five or six bags. But because I was trying all the lakes and other everything, um, you know, I obviously had more. Um, that being said, I just want to say I was doing it over here at mud water. Anywhere on the lake though, like I was casting over there and catching them and I was down over there It doesn't seem to matter The interesting thing about these is sometimes you get downtime for no reason and then all of a sudden they'll start biting again You know you get 15 20 minutes where you might only get one or two and then all of a sudden you might get five and in, in the city, you know five and two minutes So just keep that in mind and like location doesn't seem to matter uh, but if you are a person that wants a location, this is where I was fishing them right here, just off the dock. And 
Like, even up to, like, here, I was having, catching them. And honestly, I've never caught a trophy catfish right here, and I was catching 13-pound catfish. So I think no matter what you're doing, you're going to catch other fish. Um, and and you can try to target, you know, where you, they're not going to catch them, but you're, just, you're still going to catch everything, guys. Uh, well, hopefully, this will help you all. And one thing I want to note, too, is... Uh, not only did the clownfish not work for me, they are almost twice the price of the other ones, so I would not recommend that. These are 13 for 5, 13 clover cones for 5, whereas the buffalo, um, baby buffalo and baby catfish are around, are there 7 for 5, and it's so much cheaper. So, and uh, just to, to let you know how many it's going to take, uh, to catch 150, I think I caught mine with about 200 and like 10 um, bait is what it ended up costing me. So I think more 200. But anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you next time.